Hi everyone. Welcome to All Things Royal. Let's plunge right into another chapter of Wendy Berry's book, The Housekeeper's Diary, Charles and Diana Before the Breakup. As was mentioned in earlier videos, this book has been banned in the UK through litigious action taken by the then Prince Charles vs. Wendy Berry. The next chapter of Wendy Berry's book is entitled, The Riding Instructor. Let's dive into it now. One weekend, Diana's old friend Carolyn Bartholomew would come spend a weekend at Highgrove. Diana also invited her school friend David Waterhouse. By the way, this is about January, and the staff noticed something about Diana and Charles after spending Christmas in Sandringham. They noticed that they seemed to be more cheerful. Anyway, the couple went on a tour of Australia and the staff did note how the couple seemed to be more loved up during the tour based on the pictures they've seen from the papers. It turns out that on that Christmas, they had a telling off from the Queen that they had better put on a show and behave themselves. This would explain the loved up display they had in Australia and the calmer atmosphere in Highgrove. Wendy mentioned how this considerably lightened the atmosphere in Highgrove. This was also good for the children. Charles also became even more engaged with the boys, playing with them and joining them in the nursery. Paul Burrell also remarked how Charles was such a good dad to the boys and he did not quite buy into the distant father persona the press made out Charles to be. So, this was turning into a nice family atmosphere in Highgrove. Unfortunately, this atmosphere would not last because of the terrible avalanche in Switzerland which killed Major Hugh Lindsay who was accompanying Charles at that time. This was really a tragedy because Major Lindsay's wife was seven months pregnant at that time. The accident really shook Charles. He was shocked by the incident and in High Grove, Wendy said that Charles locked himself in his office. When he would emerge, they could see his eyes were red-rimmed so he'd obviously been crying. As for Diana, she was doing her best to support the pregnant widow and did not provide or express much support for Charles, Wendy observed. Wendy opined that Charles needed someone to talk to him and offer him supportive words as well, and the only one who could likely do that at this point was Diana, but she was off providing and expressing such support for the widow. The rest of the family also seemed to just carry on with their engagements. Wendy described Charles at this point to be a very lonely man. So anyway, it seems the avalanche eroded any sort of goodwill between Charles and Diana. They were not any more interested in what the other was doing. They were no huge fights anymore, they were simply polite and civil with one another. Now to James Hewitt. Wendy says that Diana never rode a horse at Highgrove, but sometimes on the way to Highgrove from London, she'd drop by to riding instructors and get a riding lesson. She also got riding lessons for William and Harry even when there was no need. They were already having riding lessons with the groom in Highgrove. Wendy described James Hewitt as a handsome young man. Most books indicate of course that Diana met James after she had Harry so the rumours about James being Harry's father are very much unfounded. The staff at Highgrove really noticed the closeness between James and Diana and this really set off alarm bells. One of the chefs remarked that Diana had her own special friend now like Charles. Wendy did not see any actual proof of anything inappropriate happening between Diana and James but she could not deny that they were becoming really close to one another. And while Diana was having her flirtation with James, well, Charles and his nocturnal visits to Camilla was also ongoing. At one point, Wendy tells of a time when Diana would take William to a polo match, leaving Harry behind. The nanny was not with them at that time so she could only bring one of the boys with her. And this was sort of the trend with Diana, when she would do something with William and sometimes send off Harry to bed. More of these incidents are told by Wendy in her book. Harry also wanted to learn polo at one point and Diana would reply that James would teach him instead. William on the other hand was taken to watch polo matches a lot. So anyway, these are just some of the things which Wendy talks about in her book. In the next chapter, we will dive into more stories. In the meantime, let's mull over things which Wendy has revealed in the chapters we have reviewed thus far. Anyway, what do you guys think? 
Do you think Diana did right by Harry by seemingly favoring William over Harry? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. For now, bye and have a nice day.